wish I knew then. Parang ang hirap ng tanong eh. Kanina ko pa iniisip. Hi, Hi friends! Hello! Hello! Hello. <laughs> Welcome to another episode. I'm Cheryl. This is Judy. And today, we have a few guests. Guests so yeah. Yeah. Guests so yes. Oh. Guests. First one is Miss Bernie. Miss Talaga. Miss Hello. Talaga. <laughs> and I see you have an interesting plant in your background, ah. This is a dragon tail monstera. Meron kasi akong small online business. So if you could follow me, the underscore bear underscore garden sa IG. Tapos na meron akong mga plants na sinasell at meron din, gumagawa din ako ng mga sakin and fish garden. Oh, so that's what I do. Yes. <laughs> Let's go to our next guest, Renz. Hi, Renz. Hello. Ano namang mo? The usual, work, bahay, wife, <laughs> saka bike. Medyo oh, naging bike. active na ako ngayon sa mountain biking. Oo, oh, usang-uso din yan. Hello mm-hmm. sa mga ating kapadyak. Where can they follow you, Renz? Oh. <laughs> yes, you can search for Tito Biker PH sa YouTube. Meron din akong Facebook page, Tito Biker. And Instagram, Tito Biker PH. So, ayan, lahat ng... Ma pagkatito ng pagbabay. Nagigit niyo ba? Yes, hi Lan. Hi Franks. Eh, meron ka bang kinabibisihan din dyan? Plants din. <laughs> dito, we import plants from Thailand, yung mga monstera, mga albo, hmm. ganyan. So, if you guys would like to check it out and purchase, make a purchase, help yourselves, go to the plant station. Plant station, one word. Hindi <laughs> naman. Mahal kasi yun. <laughs> <laughs> Bahay na yung presyo. <laughs> yun, no? Ano ang episode natin today, Frank? Every may guesting naman tayo. We try to make it interesting. Pero this time, we thought, ano ba yung majority nakaka-relate? And it's usually about religious. Nakakatakot <laughs> 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 po yung topic. Hi, Boston! Hi, Boston! Hi! Hi. <laughs> Tapos mamaya, gaganyan na naman. May agalit na naman. Our episode for today is on relationships, what you wish you knew then. Yeah! Baby God. <laughs> mga, mga realizations from the time na you're in your 20s, going to your um, 30s and your 40s. Iba eh. Iba-iba yung uh, maturity natin. Iba-iba din yung nakikita natin, maturity natin, not just sa buhay in general, but pati sa relationships. So, yan. Kaya, ginawa nating good mix yung ating guests tonight para mm-hmm. iba-iba rin perspective. Diba? Hindi, kasi, again, pag tayong dalawa lang. <laughs> tayong <laughs> dalawa lang. <laughs> <yung tabo. laughs> Good mix. Thing. Parang, ano, Judy, parang dingdong. <laughs> <laughs> Pagdating sa long term, siguro dahil tayo, yun yung common ground hmm. natin. Sa common Puro ground. Long term. Long term eh. relationships. So, ano yung pros and cons? <laughs> 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 parang, ano, init? <laughs> Pero parang ang ginigin ako. Isang pro, I think, is makikita mo kung paano kayo nag-grow together. Kasi, syempre, kung nagsimula kayo, mga bata-bata pa, ganyan, hanggang maging tito-tita, tas lolo-lola. You see how beautifully a person grows over time. Syempre, ang condon, you also see yung mga... Nag-uha pa rin na ugly ang labanan sa uncovering niya of himself. In beautiful growth, there is also mga caterpillar mm-hmm. moments niya na, ano ba yan? Makati ka pala, bro. <laughs> 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 Tapos, kasi hindi nang isang beses nang nangyayari yun. Ay, oh, eh. yung, oh. pag, yung pagbalik ng cycle ng mag-caterpillar mm-hmm. ka, magpupun ka, tas mag-butterfly ka. Tapos parang mm-hmm. pag long-term relationship, lagi... magot ka na. Hinglangaw. <laughs> 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 oh. oh, so yung growth, yun yes. yung parang 
ano siya, double-edged sword. Yes. It's beautiful, but it can, it also has its challenges. Mm-hmm. Diba? Parang hirap ng tanong. Eh, kanina ko pa iniisip habang nasasalita si Frank. Kasi iniisip ko, ano nga ba? Pero I agree yung growth kasi yung nag-start kayo, especially if you started from nothing, tapos after, you know, um, a few years, makita nyo how you developed as a persons, as individuals, also as a couple. Sa tingin ko, yun yung, ano eh, yung pinaka-pro nun, yung growth talaga oh. as a couple and as individuals. Mm-hmm. Kasi um, yung mm. kanya, Frank, ha, na financial growth oh. as a couple is also yes. very important. I think yung cons naman ay sometimes you get too comfortable that you take things for granted. together, meron ng taking advantage or being too comfortable na kaagad. Mm. What more yung matagal na na relationship? Eh? Mm-hmm. Tapos, parang sa, at least sa experience ko sa ibang friends, you only realize that you've taken those things for granted pag natapos na yung relationship. <laughs> comfortable ka nga, yun yung new norm. Ito mm-hmm. yung bago mong normal, hindi mo marirealize na pagdating na nung either hindi na kayo or nagbago siya. Kayo pa din pero nagbago siya. Doon mo may isip na gusto ko yung old old you. Isa pang tanong yun, pwede bang mas tak ka na lang na in love ka dun sa old version oh. of your lover? Parang hanggang dun na lang ba? Nasaan ang growth dun, friend? Shucks, ang daming mga tanong ng <laughs> Nakakaloka. Yung sinabi nga ni Bernie na uh, you become too comfortable. Pero ako kasi in terms of long term, ang pumasok agad sa isip ko is what if merong change in behavior dun sa long term relationship and yung change in behavior, ikaw yung nag-cos tas hindi mo siya gusto. <laughs> Really, trending, <laughs> trending behavior ba yan? <laughs> kasi, <laughs> ano, trending yung behavior. Ako kasi may experience ako doon. Tapos man, hindi ko na siya, parang hindi mo, hindi mo mahila pa balik. And it frustrates you <laughs> na kahit na anong conversation yung gawin mo, walang ano, walang, walang nangyayari. Oh. Okay, pack up guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos tapos ikaw yung catalyst, eh, no? Oh. No? Exactly. Oo. Oh. Oh. Oh, paano? Walang sagot. Walang sagot. <laughs> <laughs> yung long-term relationship. I- dalawa lang naman. Either mag-draw kayo together, tapos na-overcome yung mga flaws, or tanggapin nyo na lang dalawa. Nang hindi pa kinakasal, hmm. or you get tired of it, tapos bago pa kayo ikasal, yun na, tap- tapos yung relationship. So, if the end state Four. is marriage, but what if the end state is not marriage? Oh. Truly. Ano yung question? What is the square root? <laughs> of 25 times 55. <laughs> Parang mas masarap sagutin yan. <laughs> Ay, <wow. laughs> Hindi kasi di ba sabi mo na ano, na parang you grow together tapos malaman mo, ma-realize mo yung siguro mga flaws before you get married. Because you're thinking that the end state is marriage. But what if the end state is not marriage? Because there are instances that couples stay together mm-hmm. and that end state is not marriage for whatever reason. Kunwari, hindi talaga siya posible or it's not something that's mm-hmm. recognized mm-hmm. currently. <clears throat> LGBTQ+. Yes. Diba? So, mm-hmm. dito sa Philippines, because we don't have marriage. Same-sex marriage. Oo. Oh, paano yung holding factor, I guess, mm-hmm. na tinatanong nga ni, ni Bernie kanina na, what if the ending is not marriage? Ano yung glue? Ah, uh, yeah. uh, Kasi Kaya I think mas mahirap yun. Hindi <laughs> ko alam kung ano yung pangahawakan. Pero I think yung sinabi mo kanina eh, na yung commitment eh, that's always something that's going to hold you. Are you committed to each other that you say na whatever flaw Makita ko, we stay together, we grow old together. I think for you know some people, that's the end state. If it's not marriage, it's grow 
growing old together. You choose to stay committed kahit hindi kayo ikasal because it's not something that you both want to do or it's not, you know, legally possible in the country where you're in. You grow old together. Siguro yon yung nakikita kong end state. And commitment is what will hold you. Oh. Kasi yung iba kasal na pero and they're not committed. Mm. Oh, Naku, okay. isa na ba? No. Malaki. Malaki. <laughs> <laughs> but ganon no? <laughs> Pero whether the relationship is long term, kahit na short term, sabi na nating um one year, two years, or sabi mo ng months yung relationship, di ba? Is it any less serious than a long term relationship? Or ang isa pa na hindi naging kayo? Amay? Amay? Grabe. Magawa ba tayo ng kanta? Magawa tayo ng kanta. Lalo na nung, nung, nung mga tayo na bata-bata pa, I'm pretty sure na sa buhay natin, nagkaroon ng mga people hmm. that you had a really great connection with. Pero, hmm. hindi naging kayo. Kasi ayaw niya maging committed. Huwag mo masyakasala ko yan! May hugot. <laughs> yung ganon, yung the relationship doesn't have to be labeled. Ito, papasok yung question na, what I wish I knew then. Ang <laughs> 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 <not just> <laughs> hirap. <laughs> Hindi kasi ano, a- 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 ako yung first thought na pumasok talaga sa utak ko is, you are exploring yourself. So, hindi mo alam kung seryoso na ba siya or mm-hmm. hindi. Kasi ikaw sa sarili mo, if, if it's your first time getting in a relationship, kahit na may label yan or wala, di ba? So, parang ikaw mismo inaalam mo pa sa sarili mo. So, para sa akin, hindi ko, hindi ko alam kung kung ano talaga siya. So, to answer, yung answer ko dun sa tanong na what I wish I, I knew, I knew then, mas okay pa din sa akin yung lack of knowing. Kasi, it's you discovering yourself as well. Proseso siya para sa akin. Parang ganun. <laughs> Parang in essence, wala siyang gustong baguhin about mm. yeah, oo, ganun. about what happened or yung ano yung pace ng journey nila as a couple together. Wala siyang gusto ma preempt kasi... Parang ibig mong bang sabihin gan Kasi it led, it led you here? Parang ganun, kaya okay. Mm-hmm. Oo, so Part hindi ko... Journey. Hindi ko alam kung I would have been the same person uh, as an individual pwede. and as a parang as part of, of two people making a couple or forming a couple. So parang ganun. Siguro masasagot mo siya in a way na think about someone na special sa iyo, like your sister parang ganun. Mm. Kasi parang would you have her go through the same para masagot mo yung what I wish sa iyo. Kasi to, Tuturo mo siya ng life lessons. Mm, para para um, tito ano yun na tito. <laughs> tito ni yeah. tito so, the biker. Tito. <laughs> tito biker tito. I wish I knew na being in a relationship is not about myself and that's why lahat yun nagfall apart it's because laging may mayroon pa ring myself so I think growing all together getting married and praying na maging forever na siya is only when you can say na it's, it's about the other person. It's not about me anymore. Tapos na ako dapat din sa sarili. It's about the other person. Sa tingin mo ba, sa batang ring, marirealize oh. niya yun? Parang batang ex. Papal ko kong sorry. Parang batang ring. Batang Manila. <laughs> Sarap ba to kan? Sarap ba to kan yung batang rest? <laughs> Marirealize ba niya yon on his own or anyone's early 20s? Hindi ko, mm, hindi ko masasabi na dapat ganun na. Pero parang lagi kong, lagi kong inisip yung perspective na na if someone is special sa akin, yung love, yung love one ko, like my baby sister, parang if I want her to grow na ganun, na marunong, she can stand up for herself. Alam dapat kung anong klase ng lalaki yung PPDN. Kung anong age na niya, parang, magandang, para saan maganda, di ba? She learns, or the person learns, hoping na makinig, pero hindi naman ito nangyayari. Hindi naman makikinig talaga. Di ba? <laughs> pero, pero di ba, you'll do your part na bi- ibigay yun, i-share yung wisdom, tulungan yung tao mag-grow, tapos, hoping, praying na ma- ma- makinig siya, kahit hindi naman 100%. So, siguro, kung ano mang age yun, Siguro, kung nagsisimula ka pa lang dun sa relationship, maganda siyang 
simulan ding ayusin. And yun siguro yung financials. Lalo na kapag long term na. Yes. Kasi parang panagisimula ka, ang sarap magpasikat na, uy, bili kita ng ganito, magre-regalo ko sa'yo ng ganito. Um, mag-travel tayo sa ganito, right? And I've been in that situation na umabot sa point na kung may kanta yung financial situation ng relationship. Ikot-ikot <laughs> lang, ikot-ikot, ikot lang. Kasi umiikot lang yung pera. Uy, pahiram naman ako ng ganito. Pasa ng ganito, right? Tapos kapag ikaw naman magbabayad. Um, uy, pahiram naman ako. So, umiikot lang talaga yung pera. So, hindi, hindi parang kumbaga palabas sa lahat. Hindi na manage kasi wala, masaya kayo dun sa relationship eh. Oh. Travel kayo, bumili kayo ng ganito, right? Whereas, lately ko na lang parang na-realize na, ah, kailangan ko palang mag, ano, mag-invest, kailangan ko palang mag-ipon, kailangan ko pala ng security para kapag may mga emergency situations, hindi sa mabigat. Mm-hmm. I think that's one. Ang money behavior kasi, talagang lalabas lang yan sa long term na eh. No? Kasi yung simula mo nga eh, dahil na, dahil nag-build kayo ng memories niya to get, yung hmm. cutting, yung giving up gifts, yung eating out and all of that. All of those involve money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Na hindi mo mapapansin na ay masyado pala akong mag-asos o masyado akong humihingi lang o taga-receive taga lang o oh. taga oh. I feel na dito sa Pilipinas, for some reasons, when you are in a relationship, you should not be talking about your personal finances until you're married. Pag boyfriend, girlfriend, tapos sikat yan. Si Tabu yung pag-uusapan yun na kagad na oh, eh, pera ko to, yung kagad ko. Oh, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> Pag-asawa na ba tayo? Hindi na nga. Oh, oh. <laughs> parang, parang two things lang yung usually ah, dito sa, sa, sa Philippines. Two things lang yung trigger kung bakit you're going to start talking about finances and be smart about your finances together. One is that you are already living together. So mm-hmm. not necessarily that you're married. And the other one is that you are married. Maganda yung na-open ni, ni Lan kasi usually yan yung mga malaking conversations na dito nag-aaway. Yung full sa finances. Kasi hindi mo alam na yun yung money behavior niya. Mm-hmm. Tapos, lo, bakit ka ganyan? Kinabig lang sa kakabaliw yung number one, pasikatan. I think, mm-hmm. sa, sa, common yun. Oh. Common yun na nagpapasikatan. Siyempre, ipi-please mo siya. Diba? Oo. Oo. Tapos magpaparinig na lalo na ngayon, di ba, na uso yung PS5. <laughs> <laughs> PS5 figure. Na yung pressure din for you to to give gifts like that. Pero di ba love language yun? Yes. Love language yun, di ba? Yung receiving gifts, yung ganyan. So, what if yung love language nung tao na yun at ikaw din ay giving gifts or receiving gifts, di ba? So, that's one way for the person to appreciate you and to also show your appreciation. Di ba? Hindi na ba yun? Kasi mag-actos o giving gifts na naman. Oo nga. Kasi parang parang nakakahiya naman kapag binigyan ka tapos hindi, ano eh, parang itatanggihan mo pa tapos malaki yung cost. <laughs> At saka ano, parang, parang dyan, medyo may pressure din. No? Naisip ko bigla na kapag kunyari, nauna yung part na magbigay na <laughs> makakarelate <laughs> sila. <laughs> Kailan kaya yung sa akin narating mga ganun? <laughs> yung kunyari, binigyan ka niya ng cellphone. Sabihin na natin, example na, binigyan ka niya ng cellphone, biglang sayo, Kasi, it's your frame. Kasi yung kinerigalo ko sa kanya sa birthday niya, dapat cellphone din. Oo. Ima-match mo ba yun? Ima-match mo or over. Kasi mm-hmm. pag under, parang nakakahiya. Parang, mm-hmm. parang ganun. Kapag hindi nga kayo open sa discussion on finances together as mm-hmm. as a couple, kahit na early on pa lang, medyo mapupunta ka talaga dun sa pressure ng pasikatan kasi hindi niya mapag-uusapan. Ang end point natin is get growing old together and how do you prepare for that? Pero, tanong ko lang mga friend ha. 